Hi, my name is David Foster. I'm a senior of ClickView consultant here at K3FDS. Today I'm going to be doing a short ClickView demonstration showing you scatter charts and how they can be used to create dynamic age debt analysis. First, let's look at the data we're going to be using. So it's a spreadsheet of age debt data, customer, invoice, due date, and amount. Very simple, very standard age debt data. You're normally expecting to get this from an ERP system like SAGE or SAP. This data is then loaded into a ClickView application. Just looking into the script, very simple scripting. So here's the spreadsheet load statement. The only things we're doing on top of a basic load are calculating the age within the script and then using the class function to create bands of 30 days. I also am creating a set of fixed debt bands and using an interval match to assign those to the various invoices based on their age. It gives me two different variations of age analysis. Okay, all right. So, first option with this kind of age data is show me the numbers. I want to see exactly what, how much debt I've got in each age band, basically. So here we go. We've got just over a million pounds worth in age debt. 516,000 is minus 30 to 0 so this isn't technically due yet and then we're into overdue debt so we can see 174, 302 etc. This is the result of the class function as you can see it's created these buckets but we do have gaps so it's just something to watch out for with the, the, the class function whereas if we use something like the A uh, the interval match version, so the debt band I called it. Let's just remove that and redo the sort. Thank you. Here we have an alternative. So here's the debt bands by interval match. You can see we've got they're not due yet etc. And then we can see we've got z uh, empty buckets here where we have data. So two alternative ways of slicing slicing the numbers up but still they're just numbers. We can glean a little bit of information from that. We can see that we've got an increase in 31 to 60 over 30 so there's a skew can't really judge how much of a skew. Um, you can also see we've got some seriously aging debt here. We, we can quite happily using ClickView zoom in look at this debt. So here we are, here's our four invoices that are over the 120 mark. There's the age band, the other analysis. So we can start understanding. So we can start looking at older data there and understanding but still it's lumped into these large bands. Let's clear that now. So next level is looking at simple visualizations for example the bar chart. So here we apply a bar chart to the same data using those age bands. So here we can we get a much better idea of scale and proportion of the data here. go away. So we can see here that this skew is really is rather significant. So you would expect normally to have a big tail off and dropping off to almost nothing at this point. So we're very interested to see what's going on in here. So if I were a financial manager I would be drilling in on this and pushing to understand why these debts have not yet been paid or why the majority of them have not been paid. So really I can't say which ones are a priority or anything like that, it's just 
all of them. So my option there is right click, send to Excel, email this to the credit control team and say please resolve these, get them paid. So I do have a degree of control, a de degree of management, decision making, but it's still not brilliant. Now I want to show you the scatter chart. So here we have scatter chart fairly simple simple to appreciate. Each dot is an in, is a debt, an invoice. Got value of the invoice running up the side, age of age of the debt running along the bottom, and I've put in a reference line to just highlight where the due date is. So immediately you can see we've, we're able to see all the individual debts. We can look at patterns within the data much more easily. We can examine individual debts here, look at what's going on. So if I were a financial manager, there are three groups here that I really am interested in. This down here is our bulk data this is what the credit controller should be uh, well in control of and doesn't really need my uh, a financial manager's assistance in looking at the ones I should be interested in I would be interested in firstly is these guys so these are my high value debts that are just coming up for payment I want to make sure that these three invoices are and these three customers are well in hand and that we're going to get these paid in as quickly as possible. Next next set that I'd be really interested in are these guys. So these are high value debts that are starting to slip to slip in age. So again, here's the list of invoices I'm interested in looking at. Send to Excel, email to a credit controller, instructions to get those cleared as quickly as possible prioritizing their work and the final group that I'd be interested in is these three outliers here the four outliers so here we've got age debts that really need checking are these legitimate debts is it bad data is it known sort of contractual invoicing that kind of thing or are are these really urgently in need of getting cleared sorted out and off the books so hopefully you can see from that quick demonstration the power and flexibility and the ability to really control what's going on by using the right visualization to get the most out of your data. I mean, scatter charts lend themselves to any data where you've got these two numeric variables working together with uh, on one item. So age, value, distance, weights, anything like that that come into it all can potentially benefit from scatter charts. So before settling on a bar chart or a pie chart always consider is there a better visualization in scatter charts, heat maps, etc. for analyzing your data. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to email me with any questions please feel free. My email is david.foster at k3btg.com. Okay, thank you very much for watching.